Lincoln Playhouse. Starring Pamela Tiffin, Julie Newmar, and Monica Moran. Brought to you by New Jello Whip and Chill, Instant Maxwell House Coffee. Toast, the cereals that start your day a little bit better. All fine products of General Foods. <laughs> This is the island of Manhattan. Every day, millions of people squeeze into this island. Every night, thousands are squeezed into apartments like these. And every morning, there are three young ladies worth squeezing. <laughs> Please, not yet. What's the matter with you? Did you ever wake up with a coconut milk and papaya juice hangover? <laughs> Andy went to a health food banquet in the village last night. Did you know there's 300 different things you can do with eggplant? Sounds obscene. <laughs> How many times do I have to warn you? In New York, a girl doesn't date a man she has just, just met, met on, on the street. street. Right. I do. You date a man you met falling off a building. Well, as long as we were out together. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I've got a job. Another one? Starting today. Last night at the banquet, I met this dentist, and he needed an assistant. What do you know about teeth? Well, I've had them since I was two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about Andy. She'll bluff her way through until four or five this afternoon. Well, this is one job I'm going to keep. Good, because I need that ten dollars you owe me. I thought you were going to make a small fortune in that investment in hair oil. I thought so, too. But after all the money I put into it, they discovered it won't grow hair on bald heads. This man rubbed it into his scalp with his fingers every day for three weeks. And he was still bald? Uh-huh. 
Uh, but his fingers got all fuzzy. <laughs> Anybody eating home tonight? Aren't you? No. Gary Swift's covering the baseball dinner at Baldock tonight. I'll be home. You, Taffy? I hope so. I've got a chance to illustrate a kid's book, so I have to submit some action drawings, and I'll be prowling around for muscles in action. You want action? Go visit my old neighborhood. Maybe you can catch the 1115 street fight. For fights? Perry talked about a gymnasium over on 9th Avenue where all the prize fighters train. Gilman's! Hey, what's going on in here? The little doll is riding a pitcher. <laughs> Just stoop. She ain't writing no picture. She's drawing a photograph. Ooh. Hey, lady, you want to take my picture with your pencil? All right. In a minute. Ooh. Okay, gents. Uh, get ready for my next champion. Excuse me. Anytime, Julie, baby. Come on. All right, keep your hands. Do with your guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Flat this ring. You went wrong. You hit him. Hey. Stab him, stab him, Julie, stab him. That's it. Fire that right in there. Fire it, Julie. Hold it, please. <laughs> Champ, huh, Riley? They look good punching the bag. Bags don't punch back. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Charlie. Come on, get up now. That's good. Cool. Give me a. Come on, hold me back. That's the stuff. You okay? Yeah. With that chin of yours, kid, you gotta learn to keep your head down. Get yourself a job as a watchmaker. <laughs> Let's go, Pop. Right, I'll get you rolled. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. If I hadn't yelled, I know you would have won. Four years I've been working up to this minute. Four years developing my footwork, working on my body, saving up for a bathrobe. <laughs> and now Newt Riley will probably tear up my contract and throw it in my face. Well, if he does, duck. The paper will knock you out. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, you... You big bully. What's the matter, honey? You sweet on Sweetly? Sweetly? Yeah, that's his name, Julius Sweetly. <laughs> Terrifying, ain't it? He's been hanging around here about six months, begging for a chance to show us what he can do. Now we know, don't we? Well, who's Newt Riley? Oh, uh, that's his manager, uh, that uh, dreamer over there. Forget it. <laughs> Mr. Riley? Oh, your sad news, sister. It was my fault, and I'm terribly sorry. But can't you give Mr. Sweetly another opportunity? Did you see how upset he was? You should see how upset I am, little lady. Inside, I'm bawling buckets. <laughs> but it means so much to him. Him? I was planning a comeback with that boy. But with his chin, I'd sell his whole contract for two bills. Sell his contract? At least I'd have coffee money. Could I buy it? You, little lady? My roommate's boyfriend is Perry Swift, and I'm sure he could get Mr. Sweetly a fight to show Perry him. Perry Swift, the sports writer? You know him? I'll tell you what, little lady. I'll sell you half of Julie's contract for two bills. It's a deal. That's two dollars, little lady. Two bills is two hundred... I'll take it. You got yourself half a fighter. A prize fighter? Wait till you see him, Andy. He's beautiful. Come on. He's here? Yes, he's resting in the studio. When Perry comes by for Chris, I want him to meet Julius. Is that his name, Julius? <laughs> I'd like to go a few rounds with him myself. <laughs> I'll make a fortune with him. And in between fights, think what a perfect model he'll be. 
Hey, Chris, guess what time? Not is... now, honey. I've been doing a dude ranch layout all afternoon, and I'm late, late, late. Taffy, mix Perry a drink while Andy helps me change into a girl. Evening, ladies of vigorous virtue. Hi, Perry. Bye, Perry. Say, what's that uh, uniform Andy's wearing? She started a new job today. Oh, street cleaner? Brain surgeon. <laughs> Let's see, uh, you drink bourbon. No, 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 martinis. The olives keep me alive. The traffic we have to here, we should keep a list. Chris's men like the following. Kathy's men like the following. Andy's men like the following. Andy has men? She's very popular. Well, even the New York Mets have fans. <laughs> no, no, easy on the vermouth, Miss Warren. Here, you better let me do it. Hmm? All right. Perry? Mm-hmm? You know a lot of managers and fighters and all that, don't you? Mm, too many. Why? I need a favor. For you, Princess, anything. I want you to get me a fight. What's your weight? I'm serious, Perry. Okay, let's fight. Come on. Put your, put your chips no. up. Fight. Perry, don't. <laughs> Perry, stop it. Not me, you booby goof. I'm the brand new half owner of a brand new whole prize fighter. A prize fighter? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Julius, these are my roommates, Miss Waluska and Miss Cordovan. Chris, Andy, this is Julius Sweetly. <laughs> And Mr. Swift. Mr. Sweetly? <laughs> well, Perry, can you? Will you? Oh, well, Taffy, uh, I'm sure I can arrange something. I'll try it. I I'll certainly try. Wait. What do I do meanwhile? Meanwhile? I change his name. <laughs> Well, you two, excuse me, I, I've got a date with a man who bit my finger this morning. <laughs> She's a dental assistant. Oh. Well, I guess I'd better feed you before Mr. Riley gets here to plan our next move. You're my manager. How? <laughs> Here's one. Lionel. It's Latin and it means lion-like. I still don't see what's wrong with my own name, Miss Warren. It just doesn't sound like a fighter, does it, Mr. Riley? Mm. In Latin, Julius means kind, and a fighter's not supposed to be kind. Now, uh, here's a good Saxon name, Howard. It means aggressive. Names don't mean anything. Sonny Liston. Does Sonny sound like a fighter? Or Floyd? And what about Carmen? Carmen? Who'd she fight? <laughs> Carmen Basilio. He's a man. Maybe it should be an animal. Like Max Bear or Dick Tiger. How about Elephant? <laughs> Julius Elephant? <laughs> oh, that's no good. How about um, Shark? Jack Sharky was a champion. And you will be too. Julius Sweetly, I now dub thee Shark Howard. <laughs> And in this corner, making his professional debut tonight, weighing 189 pounds from Long Island City, New York, Shark Howard. Howard. Isn't he beautiful? I hope he stays that way. In this corner, weighing 182 pounds from Montreal, Canada, the ever popular Gaylord Swisher. Swisher. Perry, I could kiss you. Uh, me too. Don't get him, shark! needle crisp, but you sew so fast. If you'd had nine brothers, you'd have learned too. Ready? The iron's hot and the board's out. In a sec. I think it's just wonderful the way you're both pitching in to help poor Bull. Bull? That's his new name. See? Now, whatever you do, girl, when the fight starts, don't yell at him. <laughs> I didn't say a word! <laughs> Wait here, please. 
please. Excuse me, does a Miss Warren live here? Yes, on the first floor. Oh, oh here she comes now. Miss Warren? Yes? Of course. You fit the description. What description? My son's. May I talk with you? Who's your son? Why, Julius, of course. Won't you come with me? I have a cab waiting. Well, oh, please. All right. Angelo, uh, put this in my studio, will you? Sure, Miss Warren. What else did Mama tell you? Julius, why do you insist on boxing? Do you have some kind of father complex or something? No. Then what is it? Well, uh... <laughs> you can relax. Well, uh, every evening around 5.30, 6 o'clock, when the sky's kind of orange-pinkish, and it's like the day's ending and the night's beginning, for about 15 minutes there, everything sort of hangs between stop and start. Did you ever notice? Yes. And well, ever since I can remember, my whole life's been like that 15 minutes. Nothing happening, until I decided to be a fighter. Suddenly, I had something to do, a purpose, you know? I see. But you can find purpose other places, in your dad's business. Not yet. Well, maybe someday. But first, I gotta be me, Julia Sweetly, not just Sam Sweetly's big kid, you know? That's why I'm here myself. Where? New York. Back in Colorado, the family talks about Cousin Peggy the dancer, Aunt Lena the rodeo rider, Cousin Janet the surgeon. But poor Cousin Emily just got married and had children. Then one day, I asked my uncle something about Emily, and he said, Emily who? That's when I knew I was going to have to be Taffeta Warren, the artist. Then you'll get me another fight? Well, I didn't promise your mother. Okay, little lady, all set. Your pal came through for us. But this is positively the last shot the kid gets. Oh, tell Perry I could just kiss him. Uh, just don't kiss Julius. You might fracture his glass jaw. <laughs> and he's on at the Friday night card at the Armory. Friday night? That's Friday the 13th. Don't remind me. And he's matched against Pedro Santos, the black cat. Don't worry. I'll give Julius a new name. Rabbit Foot? <laughs> what kind of a name is that? It's a good luck name. Now, come on, let's get to work. Chapter two, sparring for an opening. Oh, whoever learned to fight out of a book? You gotta learn somewhere, rabbit. <laughs> Don't call me rabbit. Rabbits run. That's what you have to learn to do, to run. Now, it says here... Oh, well, why here? Why can't we work in the gym? They don't want you there. You're a bad influence on the other fighters. That will do, Mr. Riley. We have to give Rabbit confidence. Now, by shifting your position about the ring, running backward, and frequently resorting to fainting, draw your opponent out until he is overextended. Shall we try that? All right. Come on. Good. Good. Paint your opponent into a lead. I'm leading. Step in, crouch, and drive your left from the shoulder. Let's try it again. If you can hit me, you can hit a much bigger target. Taffy! Taffy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... Don't be. Golly, I really think you'll win. Yeah. We can match him against a little old winemaker. How long do we have to keep our fingers like this? For six rounds, I hope. He's beautiful. The black cat, Sweetly's opponent. And here's our next champion. <laughs> The winner in no seconds of no round, Pedro. <laughs> but at least.
now you'll be famous. Your picture in the paper. And Perry's going to do a whole column on you for the Sunday paper. I'll be a laughing stock. But you'll be something. Yeah. The first fighter in history to get knocked out before the fight. <laughs> I'm going out for pie and coffee. And then I'm going to cry for a little while. And after that, I'm going to the George Washington Bridge and jump off both sides. <laughs> I'm going away too. Far away. To Persia or Ecuador or Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> and start all over again. As a fighter? As anything. Or nobody ever heard of me by any name. I think that's ridiculous. Inside that great big beautiful body is a teeny weeny scaredy cat. <laughs> me? Yes, you. Well, you can run away if you want to, Mr. Sweetly, but I'm no quitter. And before you go, I'm going to finish that statue of you. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Warren. It's a beautiful piece of work. Splendid. Wonderful oh, work. My heart. So oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, here comes my model. First prize. Gee, really? There you are in beautiful plaster. You're beautiful even when you're not plastered. Gee, young man, you had a magnificent physique. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Eve Pelak. I want you to sit for me. And I want you to pose for me tomorrow morning. I pay the highest model fees in New York. Put me down for next week. I am a genius. In my hands, you will become a mortal. We don't have to wait until tomorrow. We can start tonight. I have in mind the law. You sit for me. But you will be the central figure. I will do you just a matter of practice. I know I'm the only one that will do you just a matter of practice. <laughs> if you will step this way, ladies and gentlemen, we will arrange a schedule for Mr. Sweetley's services. I'm sure you have to be down for next week. I have a bag of money for you. I need more money. Gee, Taffy. Congratulations, Julius. You are somebody now. See? Just by not running away, you've suddenly become a very important man. Julius Sweetley, the model. Shucks, Taffy. It's not me. You did the work. All I did is pose for this. <laughs> No, I have this other very important date I can't possibly break. Please, Tommy, I can't talk to you right now. The packers are here. They're packing one of my pieces. I wish they'd finish. All set, ladies. Sorry if we were a little too noisy, but we wanted to do a good job for you. <laughs> right, son? You bet your bottom dollar, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, excuse me, Tommy. How much do I owe you? Not a cent. In fact, we're indebted to you, Miss Warren. Come on, Newt, let's go. So long, little lady. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Taffy. Bye, Julie. It's a date then, Tommy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll meet you at 6.30. Andy, how could you? Well, Tommy didn't want to date him. And you know why? He's a pincher. So I'll wear a girdle. 